Hi Year 5, welcome to your second spelling video of the week. Again, we are going to be looking at IE after the letter C. And for this video, you will need a pen or a pencil, a piece of paper and some different colour pencil crayons. Today, we are going to be having a look at the rule in a little bit more depth and practising it. Okay, so welcome to Tuesday's spelling lesson. We are still on our same focus for the whole week, which is IE after C. Now, on the board, I have had a go at five of my spellings, but I think I may have made some mistakes. So I want you to pause the video now and find any of those mistakes, and I'd like you to rewrite the words correctly. Again, remember, anything that you're really proud of and that you want to send in for us teachers to see, please send them in to the F5 email address. I'll put the email address at the end of this video. So pause this page here and have a go at rewriting them out correctly. Now, before we move any further, let's have a quick handwriting session. And we're looking today at joining our C, I, E together. Yesterday in handwriting, we looked at the joins for I and E. Today, we are going to focus on joining the C, I and E together. So, we looked at how to form our I and our E. Now we're going to have a go at our C. Remember, C is a curly caterpillar letter and we practiced this last week. So, C, we start from the top in the middle of the hash line. Round and down. Round and down. So, C, I, E. That's our spelling rule. I, E, after the letter C. So let's have a go together at joining C, I, E. So we start from the middle. C, I, E. C, I, E. Let's have another go. C, up, down, back again to form your E, which we practiced yesterday. And E, and then dot the I. Let's have a go once more. Around, down, up into your I, and then back up around into your E, and dot your I. Now, I would like you to have a go at practicing your handwriting for the three letters C, I, E. Now that you have practiced your handwriting, what I would like you to do is all together start on Chili One. So apply your handwriting skills to practice your words. Then move to Chili Two. I would like you to try and define each of your spelling words. And Chili Three, create a sentence using each of your spelling words. So I've popped the spelling words down there so you can pause the video um, and you can complete those chilies. Now, something that we find especially to, that really helps us is pictures. So what I would like you to do is next to each of your spelling words, draw a picture that will help you remember it. Now, I've chosen the word ancient and I've found some ancient ruins because that helps me remember the definition of the word ancient. What I would like you to do is go back to each of your spelling words and draw a picture that helps you remember it. You remember the definition of each word. Pause the video now and have a go at that. Okay, now again, a reminder that Spelling Shed, I have set you um, your spelling list on more lists. You just need to find the one that says week beginning the 11th of the 1st, 21. And the rule is, i.e. after C. Again, your spelling test is Friday the 15th of January and I will be reading out the Yerban leaderboard on Friday and dojos will go to everyone who is in the winning class. Again, I am keeping my eye out on those particular children that are really standing out on the leaderboard. At the moment, I'm really impressed. I'm looking at it now and this is Tuesday um, and I'm really impressed with everybody that's having a go. So keep us up. I'd love to be giving some more dojo points out. Again, we would love to see your work, so please send it in to the Year 5 email address below. Thank you, Year 5.